it's like July said, I'm just going to stand here by the door with my purse in my hands because I got somewhere to go. Like, why did July go by so fast? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lydia Marie. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right away because I know you're going to want to join the beauty fam and I'm glad to have you here. And hi again to my new, to my oldie but goodie subscribers. I'm already knocking stuff over. But anyway, we're going to get into my July beauty favorites. I think I have more makeup than skincare beauty favorites for the month of July. And is it just me or did July go by so fast? Like, I feel like once we got past July 4th, the month was just like in fast forward. And I'm looking up and I'm like, dang, rent due again in like three days. Like, oh my gosh, July went by so fast. I didn't do a June favorites, but I did combine some of my June favorite skincare into this video because I didn't have time for whatever reason to do a June favorite. So I'm just going to combine that portion of the skincare into the video but let's get into it today we're talking about fragrances we are talking about books again i'm very excited to show you guys what i have been reading and we're talking about skincare of course and makeup of course so let's go ahead and get into my july favorites so starting off let's just go ahead and jump right into fragrances as you know i took a vacation a month ago and i only took one perfume with me I don't know why, but I was, I think I was just packing in compact ways. And I only took the rollerball size of the Coach Dream Sunset. I had just got this and I maybe sprayed it once. I wanted to smell it. It was a promotions at Ulta. Y'all know how I love the promotions and it was five times the points if you buy a Coach fragrance. So I smelled this in the store and I was like, yeah, that smells good. When I took this on vacation with me last month, I fell in love. And I don't know if it was just because I got used to wearing it because this is the fragrance I put on every day, but it smells it smells so freaking good and I was trying to figure out why am I so drawn to this because I'm not normally a floral girl when the floral notes are right on top but it has bergamot as one of the notes and anything with bergamot in it I love that is like the fragrance note that gets my attention it also has it says it has notes of pear and it's like a fresh floral scent but it really smells sexy it's a very sexy fragrance to me and it just I don't know if it was just mixing in with the heat and the summer after I took a shower when I came back from the beach and I sprayed this on and it lasts and I got major compliments on it so this one once I'm done with the rollerball this is one that I would actually purchase in a full-size bottle and again this is the coach dream sunset perfume it smells amazing the next fragrance that I've been wearing out this month I actually made a dent in the bottle and this is the Chanel Chance Eau Fresh and it smells like it just it literally smells fresh it's crispy it's clean it has a bright citrusy to it but not like a lemon like it's not heavy lemon this also has notes of jasmine in it which for me makes the fragrance just smell really feminine it's not floral not at all not to me anyway it is very like citrus woodsy even and this pairs really really well I can't remember the body oil I have with this but just a couple of spritz of this and I'm smelling good all day this has been my one one of my favorite fragrances for July I actually bought this for my birthday I think last year and I wanted the full bottle because I had been going to the department store and smelling it and <laughs> getting samples but I bought this for my birthday and this has been a go-to fragrance for the month of July Chanel really doesn't miss but sometimes their fragrances can run a little heavy but for me this one's the Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche smells amazing as far as foundation goes I think you guys already know what I'm going to be talking about this pre May Libre foundation from Givenchy. I always have to remember to say it fancy. This is so freaking good. I have been using this on a daily basis, even when I, on the days that I'm wearing foundation. If I'm not wearing a skin tint, I've been reaching for this foundation. It's so good. And I thought the fragrance was going to bother me as I did in my initial review. I was like, oh, it has a fragrance. But once it dried out, I didn't even smell the fragrance. You can't even smell it on you at all in any way. So this has been my jam 
jam this past month since I got this this has been my jam especially since I went back and got the right shade it really made me more confident in wearing this once I got this new shade I was like yes baby I get the hype it is fantastic now this skin tint is new to my stash but let me just tell you something if you are looking to get a skin tint from the drugstore that is amazing coverage pigmented and it truly really does last a very long time the Maybelline super stay 24 hour skin tint is that girl I got the shade 330 and I got the shade I think it was 312 mixing them together makes the perfect shade but with my tan 330 is the absolute perfect shade I have been reaching for this when I'm not wearing the Givenchy foundation I'm wearing this so so good if you need something from the drugstore that you're looking for and you're not a foundation girl but even though this kind of wears like a light foundation this is going to be your best bet this is going to be um in my stash for a while i can tell but for july i've been loving this bright blush bright blush has been my jam lately now y'all know i am a coral girl down to my core i would wear an orange or coral blush before i wear anything else in the fall i was like all right let me get into some neutral blushes and i started wearing the browns and the tans which i really love this summer it's been bright pinks this one from L'Oreal, this infallible blush. Now, come on, when have you seen me wear a pink blush like this? But it's so good, and it's like an airbrush finish. It's so pigmented that I feel like just tapping your brush on it is going to give you all the coverage you need, but it's so freaking good. I think the girlies are saying that this is a good, inexpensive alternative to the House Labs blush. I'm not saying it, but the streets is talking, and this is what they're saying. I got mine from Target. These are all on Amazon. You can get these all in my Amazon store. Inside the store is kind of hit or miss. I know on Ulta they only sell them online. But if you can get your hands on one of these, get your hands on one of these, okay? These blushes are the truth as well as, like, come on, when have I ever worn a bright blush like this? This is from Milani, but I'm into it. Bright blushes right now, I'm into it. I wish I would have gotten into it at the start of summer, but right now, when my tan is kind of popping, I've been outside in the sun. Bright blush, that girl. But these two right here, Milani and L'Oreal, they got me in the choco. Right now, they got me in the choco. <laughs> the last complexion product that I have as far as makeup is concerned is the Bobbi Brown Correcting Concealer Stick. I have the shade Dark as a Deep Peach. Yeah, it's called a Skin Correction Stick, and it's in the shade Deep Peach. Now, this works amazing. I have been very impressed. As you can tell, it ha it's well loved <laughs> I use it every time I do makeup and even on the days that I'm not wearing a full face I'm always color correcting under my eye my hyperpigmentation on my cheek and around my mouth with this particular stick and here's why I think it's so great it's not so orange that you have to blend it in really really well um, with your fingers in order for it not to show through your foundation number one number two this shade deep peach is the perfect neutralizer for my hyperpigmentation patch here and here it completely neutralizes my skin so that it's all one complexion by the time I go in and put my foundation on does that make sense I will say it costs a coin it costs a little coin I was like I don't know if I want to get this because it's this small and it costs like $33 but let me tell you something once this is empty, I'm going to buy another one, okay? It's just that good. I think this is by far the best color correcting stick on the market right now. For me, it works like a miracle. Really, really good. Please, for makeup. Ma let's just zoom in. Come come here. Maybelline, Maybelline, let's, let's just talk, okay? You really need to put me on your PR list. Like, we need to be a team. We need to work together. Because the way I go hard for your particular makeup and lip products, we we see each other okay we see each other now with that being said the maybelline girls have had me held down all month almost all summer with their maybelline products starting with the maybelline super stay vinyl ink if you are needing a makeup or a lipstick that does not budge but also doesn't feel like it's super heavy super drying the Maybelline vinyl ink is that girl depending on where you get them from these range from $7.99 of course that Ulta is super expensive it's going to be like $10.99 or $11.99 
get these. They're brown girl friendly. <laughs> they come in a lot of shades and I have about five of them. That's how much I like them. I really love these lipsticks. Also, y'all know how I went in with the Maybelline Hydro, I mean, sorry, what is this called? Hyaluronic Acid Lifter Gloss. I have about 10 of these. And this summer, they released the Candy Drop Collection, which is a really fun, like, bubblegum peach ring. I forget what the plum one is called, but I have all of them that they <laughs> released. I couldn't wait to get them. These lip glosses are so good. They're not sticky, and they have a nice doe foot applicator that's nice and big for our full lips they smell good these are all on my amazon store but i do think they do sell these inside of stores now finally because at first they were just on walmart.com but yeah maybelline we need to talk we do. We just we just need to be in the business together. That's all. Simple and plain. Y'all tag Maybelline, okay? Last on the makeup list, for real this time, last, is the NYX Fat Drip Lip Oils. These are also been my jam for the summertime. I'm telling you, these, I told y'all when I did the initial video and the try on, these wear more like a lip gloss and they are calling them a lip oil. Now they do have the nourishing and the plumping, you know, of the lip oil where it's nice and hydrating, it's not sticky. Again, you guys know how I love a nice doe foot applicator, which these have, these have the pigment. I mean, that's the purple one, like everything is there and they're only like $9. Now these are, somewhat in stock at Ulta when you go into the store you can now get them at Target you can definitely get them at Walmart if you can get some of these and you're looking for a nice lip oil lip gloss this is the one for you these are the NYX fat drip lip oil y'all know I hate these long names but these are the truth for real these are really good let me go into my this is my bag of empties my skincare products that I ran out of in June going into July one of these only one of these things in this bag is something that I want I'm already knocking stuff over that I won't repurchase ever again <laughs> I just didn't like it but for my favorites I did empty out another bottle of the Milani make it last this is their original setting spray if you like Charlotte Tilbury but you don't want to spend the coin, you're going to love this. If you like Charlotte Tilbury, you're going to love the Milani Make It Last setting spray. It really does last a very long time. It gives you a natural finish. It doesn't have any fragrance. And for me, it really does lock my makeup in. This is empty. I do have another one in my cart that I will be getting because I have two more bottles of setting spray that I'm trying to get through for the month of August before I repurchase anything. I'm on, I'm on a mission not to be a hoarder right now. <laughs> my Indie Lee toner. This is my great, this is my new holy grail as far as toners go. And I have a bottle already opened in the um, bathroom. But I have used this all during the month of June. And I quickly used my Alta Points to go out and purchase another one. This is $36 a bottle. But if you have dry skin like me, this is a great toner. It's so hydrating. Even if you have uh, oily skin, it's just a great hydrating, non um, it doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that. It's a really great hydrating toner. This is the Indie Lee uh, COQ10 toner. Really, really good. I did repurchase this, but it's just fantastic. So this is kind of like an empties portion of the video. I got through these. These um, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. And I bought these because I was trying to save money by buying something a little less expensive, less expensive than the Elemis Daily Resurfacing Pads. And I got them, and it was okay. Like, it was like in a nice astringent, but it didn't do anything for me as far as like exfoliating or brightening. I didn't see any of that, but they just kind of worked just, you know, to, as an extra toner on my face. But I was like, I'm not going to give them away. I'm not going to throw them away. But once it's empty, I don't see myself repurchasing them. I'm just going to stick with the Elements resurfacing pads because to me, those gave me the glass skin. When I rubbed the pad over my face, my face actually looked renewed, whereas these these were just refreshing but I didn't see any real benefits from it 
I guess you can say. This is a favorite of mine. This is a Bliss uh, Clear Genius Toner. I will be repurchasing this, but I have so much stuff right now that I'm trying to have more empties at the end of August. But for July, I mean, I did empty this out because I think this is like my third bottle. And Bliss recently stopped their PR program, but they were sending me this, so I never ran out. But now I'm out, and I'm going to have to repurchase it because it does have a witch hazel in it, and it has BHA in it, but it's very, very refreshing and it's very very good to exfoliate it's a nice gentle exfoliating toner so this is the bliss clear genius my skin loves it I will be buying this but probably not for the rest of the month or not till the end of August when I'm ran out of other things last but not least and my favorite thing in the world to do is to read I have been on my summer reading series book I've been back to the library every two weeks I have a new book at the library and I've been challenging myself for the summer to read books and I don't know how many I've gotten through I think in the last let me see May June I've read about 10 books in the last two months. I've been going to the library and I've been reading books that are like comfort books to me that I already have and own at home. The one book that I just finished and it was long, it's very long, but it was very, very good. And this is the book called The Love Songs of W.E.B. Du Bois. Now you would think from the title that it's autobiography, but it's not. It's actually historical fiction. It tells the story of a black family in Georgia going way back to the time where their family was a uh, Native Americans to their lineage and it kind of crosses between then and now which I really love those type of books where they go back in history and they talk about you know um, the present times and back then um, it did make me cry it was one part I had to put the book down because I was like oh my god this book is making me bawl my eyes out I had to put the book down but it's very very good I got this from the library and it's the love songs of W.E.B. Du Bois it's very very good the second book is a comfort book to me. I have read this book a gazillion times, if you can see the title here. It's called The Awesome Girl's Guide to Dating Extraordinary Men. Again, you would think that this was like a self-help book. It's not. It's actually a hilarious novel. <laughs> and the characters in here are like, think of the show Girlfriends, but like younger and kind of like coming out of college age like younger 30s all over the place a mess but also very hilarious it's a good story about friendship a good story about redemption and love loss all kind of stuff if you're into something light and fresh and you just want to kick back and read a funny novel this is a great 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 book for you to read that is all for my july favorites this was short sweet and to the point i think and thank you guys for taking the poll on my community tab because i asked you do you like longer videos I didn't used to film longer videos because I had an old computer and I couldn't get longer videos to download so I would have to finagle them on my phone but whatever we here now I got a camera I got a new MacBook we we in here but thank y'all for taking the poll I just like to gauge my audience sometimes to see you know what kind of videos you guys want to see because I can do what I like but I also want to, you know, cater to my audience for those of you who are watching. So thank you so much for also for always being so interactive with me on my community tab here on YouTube. And thanks again for tuning in to my July favorites. In August, I will be shopping my stash a whole lot more. I want to hit pan on so many eyeshadow palettes. I'm trying to get back into shooting content. And I think right now my new YouTube schedule will be Tuesdays and Thursdays for uploads with a short uh, video. If y'all don't use your short videos or watch the short videos, those are like 60 minute, I mean 60 second videos to watch thrown in maybe twice a week. So my goal is to at least upload three times a week and I'm trying to get the content up to kind to uh, to kind of build up to that. So all that to say, thanks for watching. Tune in again very, very soon. Y'all know I will be back here with some other stuff for the month of August. We're going to be shopping my stash. So if there's any tutorials, any makeup looks that you want to see, please make sure to leave me a comment with that and I will do my very best to accommodate you. Until the next time, I will see y'all later. Bye.